Hey guys, Owen here with Seek Outside, and today I want to show you how to set up the Seek Outside Silax. For setting up the Silax, you're just going to need three essential things. Number one, the tent itself, some stakes, and either some trekking poles or carbon trekking poles for trekking pole shelters. First thing you want to do is go ahead, get the shelter out. Now identify the two yellow cordage stakeout points. Um, generally they aren't tied from the factory, so what you're gonna wanna do is just make a permanent stake loop there. So as you can see, this is one of the stake loops. It has this yellow cordage here. What I simply do is find the bottom piece of this cordage, and then I just go ahead and tie a knot like so. And I will do the exact same thing for the other side. Now that your stake loops are tied to the line locks, what you're gonna do is find where you wanna set up the shelter. In my case, that is going to be right here. And I'm going to stake one of these yellow cordage points. Now that you have your first stakeout point staked out, you're gonna go ahead and find your other stakeout, stakeout point. Again, that's with the yellow cordage. And you're going to pull it straight the tent is nice and taut. Looking here on this middle seam directly above the stake point you'll see there's two guy out points. What you want to do is put your stake where this first guy out point is from the bottom. So I'm going to just bring my stake here, push this forward, and that is where my stake is going to lie. Next go ahead and take your trekking pole or pole substitute and set that at about 125 centimeters. That's a good starting point. And then go ahead, find your front door. It's gonna be marked with these orange zippers. And go ahead and insert the pole into the cone here. Pulling these seams nice and taut, grabbing your door, coming down with a stake, and staking that out nice and tight. And repeat the same process, putting the pole into the cone, pulling this tight so now the ridge line is nice and tight, grabbing your door, pulling it out, and using a stake to secure it. If the ridge line of the shelter, meaning in between the two poles, isn't very tight, you can simply come to this line, ro line lock here and go ahead and tighten that up. And that's gonna pull all that slack out of that ridge line. There are a few other areas for adjustment on the Silex, such as you can raise and lower your door. Um, and that's again, using this line lock system. Uh, the door itself operates with our patented zipperless design. So your door opens up just like that and closes just as easily. Another point of adjustment is these two guy out points. You can either use the upper one for a little bit more headroom with a redirect or the lower one without a redirect to get a little bit more stability in the wind as well as headroom. Featured on the Silex are four other stake points that don't need to be used unless you're in pretty extreme weather. These can be tied down to give you a little bit more stability in the wind. However, they don't really need to be used in most weather conditions. To raise or lower your shelter, you can simply adjust this line lock stake loop and raise the height of the poles. So if you wanna get it closer to the ground, all you gotta do is tighten that up and lower the height of the poles a little bit. Found at the top of the cones for your poles is a D-ring on both sides. You can use this to further guy out the shelter increasing stability in the wind. Your Silex, if optioned out with a stove jack, will also have a guy out point for when you're using it with the stove. Simply just undo this cordage and go ahead and guy this out. This is gonna give your pipe a little bit more stability as well as a little bit more room from the shelter. This has been how to set up the Seek Outside Silex. If you guys have any questions, drop them down in the comments below or email info at seekoutside.com 
and we'll get them answered for you. Feel free to subscribe and have an amazing day.